One thing that I was sort of hesitant about is um, that week of graduation, they informed us where we were going to be going, what districts, and they notified me that I was going to the third district. Now that bothered me because the third district is my neighborhood. So it was gonna be a challenge for me, but it was something I had to um, be prepared for. It, it, de it desensitized me to a lot of things. Like, I'm 31 years old. If I hear a gunshot now, I don't think I'll jump, I don't think I'll flinch because I was born in a battlefield. If everybody ever see the movie Paid in Full, that's how I was on Clifton. Everybody come through, show off their cars, their chains, fresh gear. Most people back then, in the night, they didn't want to fight. We, we used to fight, shake hands, leave it alone. We go to a spot with nobody around, man. It's over, it's over. Once we say it's over, it's over. We know when it's over, you go back and sneak your man. I noticed a lot of my friends was getting killed and a lot of them was getting locked up. And I, I didn't, I didn't want to go through none of that. So I just decided to, to leave everything, to shut it down and leave everything alone. And, and, and I, I never turned my back. Young girls dated bad boys because they had more edge with them. They had more style, more charisma with them. Money. You know, you had some of us that was fast and some, you know, wasn't ready to come off the porch yet and they recognized that. Back then, I mean, it, it would be lies around your house. They would just give you money to go to the store. Like, I would make $20 just going to the store. $20 was a lot of money back in 89, 90. A lot of funerals you go to. One point you get where so you, you put your little dress clothes on, all that kind of stuff. People's getting killed so much, whereas well, though you say, I'm tired of putting on the same old suit. If a youth only had two years and they're in the midst of an adult that have 40 years, that's not balance. Now we understand why the youth end up bad, crazy, end up in jail for life, or mentally disturbed. You know, it ain't, you know, it ain't the same morals and principles being instilled in these young dudes that we had coming up from the older dudes that was, you know, that we came up, up under. Save your money, build something. Don't try to be the street animal that we was trying to be. Some stuff I wouldn't change, but the, the advice I probably give myself is, save, save your money, man. You youngest need to just gravitate to someone that's doing something positive. Go to school, try to be something. You don't have to be a doctor, you don't gotta be a basketball player, football player, be something positive. You know, I came out, I'm struggling as a 47 year old because of the decisions I made when I was 20. You know, it's just, gotta stay away from the streets, man. It's, gotta stay away. Them 12 years of hell was, was hell, man. My family was a part of it, man. And, and, and it's, 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 it's something real, it's something serious. Hopefully your family wasn't a part of it, but if, it, if they was, you know what I'm talking about. You know what this whole documentary about.